quite possibly the quickest second date update we've ever had of all time. And there's a few reasons for it, okay? Abby and Kurt went on a date. Abby, we're gonna say passionate. We're gonna call her passionate. She definitely was sweet. Kurt said he was having a little anxiety. Here's why. All right, so we tried to call Kurt a couple times. We could not get a hold of him, but I believe Kevin is waiting. Kevin, he's on hold right now? He is. Okay, cool. Thank you for tracking him down. Yep. You are the man. <laughs> uh, he's on hold. I think you've told him a little bit about what's going on, but let's see yes. what he knows. Uh, Kurt, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, Kurt, I think you talked to uh, Kevin off the air for a second. Uh, he kind of gave you a rundown of what we're doing right now? Yeah, he did. Okay. Yeah. okay. You're cool talking to us then on the air? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? All right. So um, we're talking about a girl named Abby that you went on a date with. I mean, uh, I guess you guys went to Chili's. You guys have been on Match.com. She kind of wants to know what's mm -hmm. going on, man. What's the deal? Why aren't you getting back to her? Oh, man. I'm, you know, honestly, like, she's just, she's just a little too much. I mean, she's just nonstop. Like, she just keeps, like, I don't want to sound mean, but she doesn't stop talking. Like, doesn't take a breath, doesn't take even a pause to <laughs> let me even you know, give my opinion on a, on a topic. She just bounces from topic to topic to topic. It's just crazy. I think I just asked her, like, how was her food? And she starts getting into, the, you know, oh, this food is really good. And then, I'll, oh, did I tell you about my dog? My dog likes to go for a walk. And when he goes on a walk, he does this little thing with his butt. And then, you know, it's just like, oh, my God. It's like, just chill out. She was very detailed when we yeah. talked to her. Yeah, we did yeah. kind of get that that sense. I kind of heard that a little really? when we were it, talking to her. It <laughs> was so much. I never, I, I, I felt like I was having an anxiety attack in the middle of Chili's, just trying to just keep up. It was just impossible. And I just, I don't know. Was she drinking it. a lot or something? No, no. It was the whole, the whole, the whole date was like that. Right. The whole date, nonstop. It's mm -hmm. a lot. I could see that it might be a lot. So you just felt like you couldn't get a word in. I couldn't get a word in. I couldn't keep up. It was it was just way too much to handle. And I don't know if it's like, you know, a mental issue, like if she's got like, you know, mental health issues or or whatever the situation is. Maybe she's, you know, got something going on. Like then then and that's how she is. But it's just Excuse not Excuse me, Kurt. Gonna, I'm so oh. sorry. Okay. You need to wait a minute. Okay, well, <laughs> Abby, um, hold on one second. So, Kurt, you obviously know we were, uh, Kevin explained to you off the air that we are calling you about Abby. She happens to be on the phone as well, as you just heard her voice. Abby, you're here. <laughs> Talk to I him. am here. Absolutely, I'm here. And, Kurt, you have no right or invitation to tell anybody that I have a mental condition. You are not a doctor. Uh, <laughs> You're a cashier, for God's sakes, okay? So I am so sorry that I was excited to get to know you. Um, I had broken up with my boyfriend a while back, and I hadn't been dating for a while, so it was, I was just happy. You know what? And no, I'm not, I'm not sorry that I was happy. You want a sad, sally, weird woman that's just going to sit down and mope and be crappy on a date, you go ahead and get one. But that's not me. I'm, I was interested in you, and I was happy, and I was conversational, and you were just sitting there like a lump. So if you don't want somebody that is interested in having a good time, then I don't even know why you're going out. Do you guys, wait, you guys hear this, right? You, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This was She's passionate. The whole yeah, she's passionate, no doubt. Yeah, but, it, I mean, she, you, you guys are never going to be able to speak. You guys got to do a radio show. She's going to take over the whole the whole company. The company. Well, at least she's not boring. Well, how would she even know if I'm boring or not? She's not letting me talk. I mean, she's not, though. No, she's not. She's not, obviously. Oh, she's yeah. Not. No, she's not. Yeah, she's not boring. Sure, yeah. She's, sure. she's also not breathing. Well, I, I think that you breathing. can hear that these guys are being super nice to you because they don't want to come out and say that you are boring, but they are implying that you are boring. Kurt, you're going to have to just wake up a little bit, maybe have some caffeine before your next date because you definitely need to add a little pepper into your life. You, you, you're just kind of sitting there like a lump. So if you think I'm going too fast, it's because you're not going at all. Abby, let me just clarify a couple of things. So you did. You said you just recently got out of a relationship? Uh, well, yes, I did. And this is maybe, this is one of your first dates back into the game? Yes. Okay. Well, listen, Kurt, maybe she's just a little nervous on her first date yeah. back. You know, she sounds very sweet. It's not like she's saying anything, like, you know, ridiculous. She's actually saying a lot. So, I mean, is that really going to be yeah. something that's going to deter you? <laughs> saying a lot. <laughs> Yeah, she definitely is saying a lot, but she, this is not the first date though, and she's still doing the same thing. So I'm I'm pretty pretty confident that it's not just like a one off situation. I'm mm. pretty sure that this is this is how she is, and it's nothing. You know, I, I apologize if I offended you, but I'm I'm just not interested. 
I'm I'm already my I'm already getting anxiety after only two minutes on the call. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. What kind of a grown man gets anxiety on a phone call? I think it's best if we don't go out because you, you have so many skeletons in your closet. If you open the door, some bones will fall right out. I mean, it's just like, you you know, those old, um, you know, Hot Wheel commercials where the guy would come out and just, you know, speak really fast. Oh, it's yeah. Just, it's just too much. <laughs> yeah, everyone <laughs> remember those. Oh, my gosh. It's hilarious. The micro um, machines. Or whatever. micro yeah. machines, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kevin all over it. So it sounds like you guys agree that you're not going to go back out. Abby, listen, you sound like a very passionate person. This is just not going to be for Kurt. That's okay. There's different styles of people. And if it's not a match, it's not a match. I'm sorry uh, that it wasn't the answer you were looking for. But I appreciate you coming on, Abby, and I wish you luck as you're back into the dating world. Thank you. And, Kurt, thanks for talking to us. Yeah. Sorry it didn't work out, guys.